And we are live. <laughs> Welcome to episode 117 of the Beastly Thought Show. Your in my favorite video game podcast on Twitch, on YouTube, not on iTunes, not on Google Play, because we don't fucking know how to do it. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Glad to see everybody in chat. Glad to see, glad to see Beachley. Glad to see Robbie. Uh, less glad to see Robbie now that he's making old person joke. We're gonna have to hurt him yeah. for that one. I'm gonna send a, I'm gonna send a letter to his mother, Beachley. Yeah. We're gonna have to have words. <laughs> We're gonna have to have words. <laughs> You're in trouble, Robbie. You are you know in what? trouble. His mom is a really, really nice lady. One of my favorite people in the world that I've never actually met. Uh -huh. You could probably talk to her and arrange for her to mail Robbie to you so you can punish him. Yeah, She's I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna write down his address and send her a letter. <laughs> no, no, no! I forgot my pencil again. I can keep losing that shit. Yo, oh well, fuck it. I'll do I, it later. You're, uh, yeah, you're, you're missing your pencil, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you. Oh, there it is. How's everybody doing? How's your week, guys? How are you doing? Oh, it was great, man. Today's my daughter's birthday. Ah, happy Nova. birthday. Which daughter? Nova. Nova. Nova a little celebrity. Who, the Nova uh, Bomb. Yes, Nova Bomb. <laughs> she, uh, of course, from Destiny. She, she turned six today. So a lot of the people and my, my uh, subscribers have known who Nova is now for the last three years. She made videos back when she was three mm -hmm. uh, in the Nova Knows Best series. Yeah, she's six years old today. She got herself her very own PlayStation Vita today and tons of Minecraft toys and, of course, Minecraft on the Vita. Cakes and clothes and all, all that good stuff. And it's been just a really awesome day hanging out with my wife and kids. How do you do that? Now, you have a bunch of Vitas in the house, right? Five of them. Five of them. And all, like, different people have them. Do you guys mm -hmm. all share one account? No. Okay, so how do you, how, like, if you buy Minecraft, do you have to buy it a couple of times, or do you, depending on yeah, who well, wants it? Well, well, when it comes to things like PlayStation, you're able to share with two accounts. Mm -hmm. But Vita, Vita, you can't, because each account is uniquely tethered to individual memory cards. Oh, really? Yeah, so your, your account isn't really tethered to your Vita as much as it is to your memory card. Mm. And so in order yeah. for you to share... Yeah, so her memory card and her account is totally hers. Kate's is totally hers. Mine is mine, and both of my boys have their own individual accounts as well as individual games. You can't like the way I do on my PlayStation Four. I buy one game digital, and that get that digital goes to my console and Kate's console at the same time because you can share. Yeah. But Vita's you can't do that. So even my Vita, the games I own. I had to buy them twice. Like Killzone Mercenary, I had to buy that twice because Kate wanted it. You can't share. So everything Nova has was just just bought for her. Oh, okay. And that's how that's how it is with the PlayStation Vita. I wish it wasn't that way, but it unfortunately is. You can't can't win them all, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can catch them all. Oh God, We're I can't. They don't they don't <laughs> come around here in no Connecticut, man. Those freaking <laughs> Pokemons, they don't come to Connecticut. I can't catch shit. I feel like I, the, I feel like the two black guys in space balls comb in the desert and they ask him, "Have you found anything yet?" And I like stare back at him like with this big ass Afro pick saying, "I ain't found shit." <laughs> <laughs> like, there, there's no fucking Pokemon out here. I got I got gyms as far as the eye can see, but I got a Pokemon. Really? <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> That's uh. Let's, hey. let's, let's, let's take a moment to pause and talk about this, guys. Yeah, I have yeah. not played the Pokemon. You haven't played no. it yet? Oh, my God. I'm surprised. I'm surrounded by people who play it. My yeah. boys play it. Kate and Nova play it religiously. Yeah. Um, I, I actually did three videos. I did 19 <laughs> videos, and three of them were about this damn game. We went to Walmart. Kate got out of the car and started walking across the parking lot, and I was looking. <laughs> She's just like off. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she was looking down. I was like, what the hell is going on? Some guy was like walking towards her. I was like, she know this guy? And she turned around and said, I got it. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, we, what was know, it? Was like, it a Squirtle, man? I need a fucking Squirtle. I have no clue. <laughs> but this game is really, really taking out. Uh, and, and the one who found out about it first was Nova. And she showed it to her mom. And now, Kate, no matter where we go, she walks outside. It's got people going outside. Right. She yeah. walks 
She walks outside, and I'm like, you going to get the mail? She's like, no, I'm going to the... I'm like, where the hell are you going? I, there's a Pokemon right here. Dude, I can... I, and, and, I got three tracks. I know he's nearby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really... Uh, to me, it's interesting that I was one of the naysayers for Nintendo going mobile. And this is not part of our news, I don't think. Oh, it is. It is. Well, at least yeah. part of it is. Um, I was one of the naysayers of Nintendo going mobile because I wanted them to take over and reclaim their greatness uh, in the console space. But obviously, Make Nintendo greater... great again. Yeah, well, Donald Trump has Don't obviously Trump started no. working with Nintendo because Nintendo's <laughs> mobile efforts seem to be really paying off uh, in, in high dividends. I'll their <laughs> uh, stocks have gone straight up, and um, Pokemon Go seems to be... Uh, a very very popular game right now. It's the, yeah. it's more popular than Netflix on all Android devices. Yeah, guys, guess what? So it's it's really really big. It is finally yeah. out in Canada today. I just downloaded it before the show. I'm gonna yeah. play it as soon as the show's over. Yeah, I you gotta go wait. catch. I'm sick and tired of seeing this game everywhere. I'm finally gonna play it. Canada, <laughs> Canada's got Digimon up there. Yep. So it's kind of a little different. You know, it's almost as good. <laughs> they got Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> they got Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you guys got Yu-Gi-Oh. Fucking catch me a pocket monster. (laughs) You guys are getting that uh, today, you say, Robbie? Just today, finally. Oh, we had that. We had it like six months ago, but congratulations. That's probably why the servers are down today. It's because Canada's coming online. That's probably why the servers are down. (laughs) Oh, man. So let's talk about it, guys. What have you guys been playing this week? I'll go first. I've been playing uh, Destiny. I have stopped playing Uncharted 4. i got to get back to Uncharted 4. I played a lot of Trials of Osiris this week. I was playing. It's funny. I was playing. I stayed up late. Uh, so people who kind of frequent this stream, and a lot of podcast viewers aren't going to know about this, but I do stream a lot on Twitch, and I use a program called OBS, which has been awful in every yeah. conceivable way. Yeah. <laughs> and it... It started crashing on me like every time I got a notification last week. So this week I decided I'd try XSplit out and I started, I, you got to pay for that. OBS is free. Uh, it does not run well on my computer. It's very choppy, very frame rate. I have a lot of frame rate issues. It's just awful. So I did, ended up, you know, I, long story short, I had to reinstall OBS, set it all back up again. Uh, and I was doing that till like midnight of last week last night and then i saw a couple of friends were online playing uh trials of osiris and destiny jumped on there had a ball uh but ended up playing until 2 2 30 in the morning and then i had a kind of an appointment to be streaming at 8 a.m which means i gotta wake up at like 7 so i was like oops (laughs) (laughs) i'm fucking tired (laughs) so i've been playing destiny late at night and early in the morning yeah, yeah, all day, all night, bitches. So, so look, guys, Briar. To me, I know the guy. I've known him for years. He looked really tired when he started today. He was like, he was yawning like crazy too. I was, yeah. Up. Well, you know what, Briar, uh, and, and this is this speaks volumes about you and, and your gaming prowess for your subscribers and your fans. The dedication that you put into it, man. You love you love Destiny, and, and people who are like minded follow you, and they really enjoy your content. I love you and I enjoy your content. Probably not as much as a lot of the, your other subscribers because you don't I'm love me of... as much or you don't enjoy my content as much. I really need clarification here. Both you suck. <laughs> 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 to me, it's really awesome. Just gotta be honest. I want you to get better. <laughs> yeah, I believe no, the fifth. I love you. I'm totally kidding. One, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think it's really awesome that you dedicate that much time, and, and especially being, you know, a family man and being married, and, and you're making all this stuff work. I think it's really awesome. And, and, I'm not gonna and lie, to you fans, guys. I'm sure they appreciate it. Streaming Say is what? fucking fun, and you guys should try it because it's awesome. Like it's a really fun thing to do. Yeah. Well, the times I have streamed, I've done it with Kate. We had a blast. We played uh, Elder Scrolls online, uh-huh. and we had a lot of people watching it, and they were telling us to do try different things. It was just really, really fun. Yeah, it I is just fun. Haven't had the, I've had time restrictions, and I'm even going to have more time restrictions in the next two weeks. i got to make a video for the people watching. You get this information live. i got to take a break from my channel for a little bit oh, no. and, focus on, and focus on my other YouTube channel. It's been five months since I've uploaded load, on the Pyramid Head channel. Oh. Uh, that's the conspiracy theories, ghosts. And I've got tons of views on this channel. People love it. Tons of subscribers. People consistently subscribe. 
and I haven't had a video in five months, and I feel like I'm not doing my part yeah, you to gotta, support both of my channels. Yeah, get so, uploading. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to definitely do that. I'm going to make a video maybe tonight, uh, maybe latest uh, tomorrow. I'll let my subscribers know. What's the hottest conspiracy the theory today, right now? Pyramid head. You should, you should do one about how uh, Pokemon Go is really a government-run conspiracy tracking us. <laughs> I am. I swear. I, am. <laughs> you know, I, re I read about that. Uh huh. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sure, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it, it will be on the Pyramid Head channel, and of course, people who know Silent Hill know the Pyramid Head reference, and it's all the pyramid with the eyes, so Pyramid Head. But um, is that what you've been spending most of? Your, oh, it sounds like you at least spent the last 24 hours deep into Destiny. What about the rest of the week, Brian? Uh, I've been fucking with OBS. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right. That does not sound like a fun time. Mm -mm. Oh. I mean, no. Brian, Brian, you know, for, for future reference, since, mm -hmm. since the viewers here know about the trials that you've gone through with OBS, just remove the O and just call it BS from now on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. BS. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Robbie, so what have you been up to for the last seven days, my friend? I've been playing the waiting game for Pokemon Go, and it's out today, and I can't wait to play it. Nice. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I, I'll see you on YouTube somewhere. Some crazy Canadian video of some guy getting robbed at 3 a.m. at a park trying to catch a damn squirtle. What I've been doing for the last <laughs> uh, for the last seven days, I've been doing this online kind of uh, gameplay. I've been playing Star Wars Battlefront, playing some Uncharted 4. I mm -hmm. got into some Doom. I've also played uh, Fury, which was PlayStation Plus's free game of the month, which was released for free on the actual day that it was released period so it's a brand new game and it's a very it's hard to describe it it's a uh, cell shaded uh, style you're the samurai who's like in a prison then you wake up and you some guy in a in a bunny mask appears in front of you and tells you to wake up and, and escape and then you start coming out and fighting these like ever hard getting harder and harder bosses and it's really really a lot of gameplay and different mechanics that go into it there's uh, projectiles you can shoot, there's parry moves, there's charge-up attacks, and basically you, the whole function of the game is there's a giant circle, which is the area of you and another opponent. Uh -huh. You use their attacks to basically come around them. It's it's hard to, it's really hard to describe it. I haven't really played a game like this before, but it's incredibly fun. And if you haven't played it, if you haven't downloaded your free PlayStation Plus games this month, I would tell you to please, please download Fury because it's something... Robbie, you heard about this game, correct? Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm definitely going to go it, download it. It's it's very unique. It's really hard for me to describe it. Uh, it's just so many different avenues of offense and defense and, and for you to circumvent enemy attacks and do your special attacks. It's just really, really, uh, it's different, but it's very different. a fucking ninja. That's enough. Yeah, enough. yeah. It's kind of like Afro <laughs> Samurai, but you're just a white guy with long white hair. But it's, it's a very similar kind of feel. And that's what I've been doing. I've been planning my daughter's birthday. We uh, took them out to Lego City, let them play on Thursday night. And today, her, it was her Vita day. And I do have a video of that, her expression. So you guys look forward to that on, on my channel. She had, <laughs> I, put it inside, I put it inside of a Nike box. And the thing about my daughter is she was still happy. She said, oh, Daddy, you got me these Minecraft toys and you got me shoes. I said, sure did, honey. She opened it up. She said, this isn't shoes. <laughs> I got a really good story, actually, uh, concerning that. Yeah. So a couple of years ago, I think this is Christmas 2014, is when I got my Xbox One. Uh -huh. And my parents were the ones who bought it for me. But they put it in a box for, like, a printing machine, for, like, a printer for a computer. And so I saw it, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Why do I need a printer? I opened it up, and it was an Xbox One, and I was so, so happy, man. I did the opposite awesome. for my kids, is I took the Xbox box, and I filled it with underwear. And I wrapped it. <laughs> <laughs> Either way is awesome, yeah. Oh, that's funny. And then I brought the Xbox to GameStop, got my fucking money back. <laughs> well, that's some, that's some hardcore parenting right there, man. Life wow. lessons. I don't know what lesson it was, but it was hard learned. <laughs> I also spent a little bit of time playing Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know if you guys remember the Ubisoft Yeah, of game. course. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's okay. Uh, you know, I probably spent a good hour or two. Like I said, I made 19 videos between Friday and Saturday. So I really got into a lot of these multiplayer type of experiences just for quick, you know, two or three videos. But it, it's pretty fun. I was getting my ass handed to me by people who have been veterans who don't have like every game like I do. And that's the only bad part about going into a game that you hardly ever play is you go into the party late and everybody who else is in there is a veteran. 
and they've unlocked all the stuff and you go in there like totally green with the default loadout and you get your ass handed to you but overall was still very fun i still enjoy what they did with rainbow six the whole dynamic of you know going through different floors through different walls and basically either uh extracting someone or killing the opposing team in these very unique ways so it was pretty fun overall and that was my week it's been pretty good i'm still looking forward to uh getting back into some single player games so i can do some reviews for my subscribers awesome and with that said we've got some really interesting uh, news for you guys this week and uh my friend robbie wants to get us started today i think this will be exciting all right, so first news we have this week concerns No Man's Sky. It has been revealed that the game takes up 6 gigabytes on PS4 and PC. Most of that will be music because the game will also feature an exact number of 18 quintillion, 446 zillion, 744 trillion, 73 billion, 709 million, 561,616 planets in total. And you got to catch them all. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, find every planet. So I'm six even, gigs—that's wow, that's clearly not enough for all that to fit in. So this thing must be like running online, online servers. All these things are stored online. Yeah, that or it's just the whole thing they've talked about, right? Where it's like the whole game is procedurally generated. Like mm-hmm. when you see the levels in front of you and the planets, they kind of, you know, the things behind you, they'll kind of move everything Sweet. around. I feel like, yeah, so it must be a lot of data being sorted all at once. Like whatever the technology this game is running on, it yeah. has to be something really, yeah. really advanced. I think I'm, I'm half excited about this game just because of the technology. Like I can't wait to see it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see this thing fully come to life. And I mean, it's gone gold so we're going to be playing it here real soon and august, i can't wait to see is it august 20th august 9th 9th that's right around yeah. the corner very close the, the thing is though guys we talked about this last week whether or not this game was um uh, in, like a online type of game where you could play with your friends if these plans exist mm-hmm. and you're able to play with your friends and it's procedurally generated what happens if they're on a particular planet and maybe it, it doesn't exist right now for you i mean could there be multiple people in the same universe with you? How is that going to work? There are. It is an online multiplayer game, but from what I understand is the chances you find, like, if all three of us were playing, we could all spawn in across the galaxy from each other. And yeah. the chances of us actually, it's other. not like a social. I don't think it's going to be like a social, like, we, we jump online and, like, go in dog fights and explore planets together. I think gotcha. it's going to be, uh, like, a player-wise, a somewhat solitary experience. You'll see other players around. You might be able to communicate with them, but that's not the focus. I think it'll be like gesture communication. I don't believe you'll be able to Something probably like chat Journey, with them. maybe? Yeah, I yeah. think very much like Journey. I have a feeling you'll just explore with them, but you'll never actually like communicate with them. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm excited for it. That's a hell of a number. I wouldn't ask you to say that again, Robbie, but that's a lot of damn planets. Jeez. That's yeah. the actual number, too. Like the, I was like, wow. It, you can't take into your into comprehension how much that is. Like That's nuts. 18 All right, well, billion. Going on with more Pokemon news, Pokemon Go has proven to be a worldwide cultural phenomenon as the game has surpassed the number of daily Twitter users worldwide. Damn. Yeah. And it's and it's more popular than Netflix on Android devices. So and the game has been out for what, about two weeks? Yeah, I think a week and a half now. I mean, this game is it's literally like every person is playing it in the country it's available. And now that it's available in Canada today, I mean that number's gonna jump again. Like <laughs> This game is just is a big well, I, I, I covered a few stories on my channel about some of the, the mishaps that have been happening around this game. Two guys fell off of a cliff in California. Uh, trying to, they fell 100 feet, landed on a beach, had to be airlifted to the hospital, chasing the damn Pokemon in California. Yeah, there are four men, four men uh, arrested because they uh, went to a school at 3 a.m. and waited for someone to come and find this rare Pokemon there. <laughs> No way. So, just check out the Beastly Gamer channel. Uh, I think one of them came up already today. But You can't uh, think stupid. It doesn't matter what these people are doing. The only reason these stories are in the, in the, in the news right now is because they happen to be playing a video game while they were doing this stupid stuff, which they fucking do anyway. It's just yeah. that it never makes the news. <laughs> stupid stuff, unless you're from Florida, it doesn't seem to make the news. <laughs> but you <laughs> slap Pokemon right. Go on Absolutely. that story, and you're going to get... You know, a thousand times the clicks that you got if it was just stupid assholes walk off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> there was another guy who got uh, stabbed, stabbed 
uh, in the street by someone who was accosting him. Was it for a squirtle? Because I can understand then. (laughs) (laughs) He he didn't go to the hospital after he got stabbed. He continued to find his Pokemon. So there are people. It must have been a squirtle. (laughs) <laughs> it must have been Squirtle. Uh, you guys, let us know in the comments. Are you playing Pokemon Go and should I give it a go? Because I haven't tried it yet. All right, so Robbie, what do we got going, coming up next? Um. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Uh, Warner Brothers Interactive is reportedly targeting a November release window for Batman Return to Arkham Collection. So this was delayed indefinitely, and reportedly it's going to be coming out November-ish, which, all right. Is it indefinitely? Um. I don't know, guys. Uh, is this something you guys would be interested in buying? Possibly? Not really. I've already played these games, and I love them, but there's no real reason to go back into them. I feel like if you've never played them, though, I mean, this is they're going to be an Unreal Engine 4, a whole new engine. Like, I'm sure they're going to be awesome, yeah. and I hope they do it right. And they're not broken. What he said. I, <laughs> I, don't like, I don't know where you guys are. It's always someplace <laughs> different. Um, I, I, may, I may end up getting this because I, I'd love to play Arkham uh, Asylum again in Unreal 4. That was the very first foray into this rock, rock steady Batman world, mm-hmm. and it it blew my mind. I had, you know, I was doing security at the time, and a lot of the people who I worked with were telling me about it, and I was like, oh, you know, I remember Batman on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, and I was like, eh, no, I'm gonna stay away. They're like, man, it's the best superhero game of all time, and I played it, and they were totally right, blew my mind. So I may, yeah. as long as it's not you know sixty bucks, if they can squeeze it down to forty, then it'd be a no brainer for me. Continuing on, Paramount Television has acquired the rights from EA to create a TV series based on the popular Battlefield video game franchise. You that guys excited really to see cool. Battlefield? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Briar had to look. He said, hold on, let me check this out myself. <laughs> this is becoming a trend. Mirror's Edge is also, uh, this isn't any of our news. Mirror's Edge makes I a got... little sense because it's got a fucking story. Yeah. Battlefield. I mean, I, I know that there are single-player campaigns that come with Battlefield. I couldn't tell you a fucking thing about them. Yeah, you don't really care about anything that happens. You just kind of shoot people. Yeah, you just shoot people. And like, then you play the multiplayer for a year until the next Battlefield comes out. <laughs> kind of sounds like Call of Duty. Or at least most of them. Yeah. A lot like, well, Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 had pretty memorable there are stories. Exceptions. Yeah. yeah, 100%. And I feel like the Black Ops series too, but for the most part, yeah. Yeah, the Black Ops 1 had something going. Yeah, that's weird. What the hell are they going to make a TV show? They should just make Band of Brothers. They should just like remake Band of Brothers and call it Battlefield. Battlefield. (laughs) It would actually work too. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, Uh, that's what was hype. What they're doing. I mean, it's a wide open storyline, right? They can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Uh, For some reason, though, I think it's going to be shitty. (laughs) Probably will be. be More than likely, man. All right, continuing on, Xbox Australia has revealed a launch window for Sea of Thieves to be released. The game will launch sometime in February 2017. Can't wait. This game looks awesome. Very excited for I, this. this. The second half of the trailer sold me on it, um, <laughs> what we saw at E3. It'll definitely be uh, one of those games on my Xbox One. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. That's I'm sure be that... so fun. Like, one of us being, like, the captain, the other person, like, manning the cannons, the other person, like, managing the sails. I mean, this game just looks so no, much fun. I, I... I'm going to be uh, keeping all the women safe. You can do that. Yeah, we'll have that role available as well. You can keep yes. all the women, women safe. I there are no safe. women allowed on a pirate ship. Says oh, right. Pirate <laughs> the pirates! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's bad luck. Right. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I think Jesus. being a pirate is bad luck. <laughs> right? Shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, so this a lot of people might not know this. I did read about this earlier. Um, Microsoft will not be holding a pre- press conference at this year's Gamescom. I think Sony did that last year, if, if my memory serves. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I mean, either they'll show up at, like, Paris Games Week, or who knows, they could do their own Xbox events, sort of like PlayStation Experience. Might announce that, but, yeah, I don't know. Well, we were expecting <laughs> to see the Neo here, right? Yeah. What's that mean? No, no, not the Neo. We're not expecting to see the Neo. No, no. uh, Sony isn't going to show the Neo, I don't think, until next year. Uh, But they do have the PlayStation 4K coming. And and now they're making two different PlayStation. Wait, Neo and 4K are the same thing. They are the same console. No, they have two coming out. That's what I read. They have a 4K console coming out to compete against the the S. No, they're the same one. No, it's the same thing. Well, well, Sony, Sony screwed then. 
Sony's screwed. Sony's screwed so quickly. <laughs> yeah, well, Sony's fucked. Uh, well, for me, when I hear stories like Xbox, Microsoft isn't going to Gamescom, now there's so many conferences, I think that they could miss whatever they want and still get plenty of information out. Yeah, so I think this is conferences, conference culture, I think, is going away. I think uh, it's so much easier and so much more effective and so much more cost effective, frankly, to just talk directly to your fans over Twitch and YouTube. YouTube, and, yeah. You know, it's like it doesn't it doesn't make sense to talk to press outlets or to, you know, do these big conferences. I mean, I think they'll still yeah. will to some extent because just because it gets people so hyped about stuff. But yeah, I could see them pulling out a lot of these things. I think that things like Tokyo Game Show, Gamescom, Paris Games Week, and E3, they serve a purpose because of that excitement around just gaming in general. Yeah. You're totally right. I think that um, you know, YouTube, Twitch definitely gets di- – it's like a direct IV to the, the yeah. lifeblood of your, your audience. The problem with these yeah. big conferences like the ones you just mentioned, though, is that they cost so much money for these publishers to go to. You do. don't need a conference like every event, too. That's the other point. Like, they're, at some point, they're just not going to have enough to show. So I'm yeah. glad they're starting to back off. Like, we don't need to do a conference for Gamescom and Paris Games Week and this and that. Like, we can hold off for a while. I like that. I would be totally fine with just two conferences per year. I think that that would work out. I think that uh, that would give these companies plenty of stuff to show and people tons of reasons to be excited rather than every three months having a new conference and half of that conference is stuff that's already been confirmed and shown. Agreed. You have two, two, two to three conferences per year, I think, is probably the sweet spot versus having one every two to three months. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sony... Uh, Sony will also not be holding its own press conference at this year's Gamescom. Could have uh, included that. Yeah. Again, so Games- they have <laughs> first Games Week and I knew about that. That's why I brought up the Neo is because that's that's what I'm wondering about. Is I really expected to hear about the Neo during this press conference. Like this this was when I was expected to hear about it. So, the, like, what do you guys think about the Neo? All right, we just talked about press conferences. We just talked about you know a company not going. So we're going to say the same thing, right? Let's talk about the Neo. Like, are they going to announce the Neo? When are they going to announce it? Is it getting delayed because of the announcement of the Scorpio? Like, what do you guys think about this? Yes, I think they're going to push back Neil because of the Scorpio. I think 100% they are going back to the drawing board and they need to rethink this thing. I don't see it coming out this year at all. I mean, early next year at the earliest. Like, even well, then, I doubt it. I, I read an article today because I was still in the mind state that Sony had to go back to the drawing board and release two consoles to compete with Microsoft. So, excuse me on that. But. Uh, from what I was understanding, they released new specs for the PlayStation 4K or the PlayStation Neo, and it's two teraflops less in GPU power uh, compared to the Scorpio. So, yeah. Yeah. if that's if that's what Sony wants to, you know, release, I think doing it this year would probably be the best thing for them because if they do it next year, right when the Scorpio comes out, people are going to go for the one that's well. They the could be redesigning the whole now. project, right? It's like say, okay, this was. In light of recent events, in light of what's going on here, this we're going to shelve this Neo project, start working on, you know, yeah. something that's a little more five? competitive with that. Well, something more competitive with the Scorpio. I still think the idea is good. Like an upgrade path for consoles, I kind of like. I do too. You know, keep keeping yeah, yeah. that backward compatibility. If you have a if you have a four or you have a four Neo, you could. You know, it doesn't matter. You can still play Destiny, Destiny 2. Like, you know, that to me is pretty neat, you know? I don't know how... I don't know how different it is really than it going from 4 to 5, though, you know? Other than... That's my thing. Yeah. Because, I mean, if we look at the, the... If Pass is any indication of the future, the, the Xbox Scorpio is the next generation of the Xbox. There's no way you could say that something that's that much more powerful then the Xbox One is the same thing as the Xbox One. In effect, it would be an Xbox Two with backwards compatibility because of the the, the simple fact that it's four and a half times as powerful as the current Xbox. Yeah, the yeah. thing what that... I think that... What constitutes the next generation? Well, I what think that what separates it is that they're, they're making a commitment that all the peripherals, all the games work on both platforms. Work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, that's certainly not the case when you, when you move from a... 360 to a one or from a PlayStation three to a PlayStation four. I think that's really the big change. I think it's a welcome change, right? Like fuck buying all new stuff. (laughs) This is what I I actually said uh, a few months ago when, when this, well, I guess a month or so ago, 
I think the idea of a mid cycle upgrade for all consoles is a great idea. It's yeah. it's a premium item for I'm people it. who yeah. want to spend a couple extra bucks for an upgraded version of what they already have and everything they they bought for that are, already works. So I agree with you 100%. I think it's a great idea that Microsoft and Sony are kind of embracing this change and changing the landscape because we've been doing the same thing for the last 25, 30 years. Yeah, and that, know, this is a well. You know, technology is advancing so fast right now that to like have a console out there for like eight years just it feels archaic by the end yeah. of the life cycle. You know. Yeah, the, the PlayStation yeah. Three and the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty are perfect examples, but at the end of that thing, I felt like I had it as long as I had you know my Nintendo. It felt so old and so dated. Yeah. It just didn't seem real to me. Finally, get a new generation. So I think these ideas are great. It's like I'm a piece curious of furniture. To yeah, you just can't get off the fucking couch. It's been here since, since I moved in this bitch. Um, <laughs> the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm just... What a way to word that. I'm Move really curious, bitch. honestly, as, as to how Sony's going to approach this, too. I am, yeah. Uh, you know, Sony's got this lead. You know they want to keep it. Microsoft wants to capitalize on that because they. the truth of the matter is Microsoft sees that people wanted the console that they perceived as more powerful. So Microsoft said, we're going to make one that's ultimately the most powerful ever made and hopefully get those people with that that ideology of the, the power, the, the console that's able to produce the best frame rate and resolution is the one that I want. They want to grab those people and bring them over to the Scorpio. What is Sony going to do if they can't compete on the same level with the Scorpio with the PlayStation 4K? Well, that's why I'm wondering why we're not hearing anything about the Neo at this point. You know, is Yeah. Like, have they scrapped that project? Have they shelved that project? And are they now looking at something that's... Because if you think about it, you know, two teraflops, it doesn't seem meaningful, but basically it'd be, you know, it'd be a four teraflop system compared to a six teraflop system that's like a third of the power just completely missing. That's going to be an issue when you start looking at ports of, like, you know, yeah. Call of Duty going to both systems. Guess which one I'm going to buy it on? I'm going to buy it on the one that looks way fucking better. <laughs> you know, and Destiny 2 comes out. Guess which one I'm going to buy it on? Fuck your PlayStation exclusive, Hawkmoon. I'm going to buy it on the one that looks fantastic. Wow. <laughs> you know? I just said, screw Hawkmoon. Oh Speak it to reality, Briar. <laughs> I said screw Hawkmoon. In, in full confession, I've said screw Hawkmoon an awful fucking lot. <laughs> Every Super time I get trip. shot by one, I'm like, screw fucking Hawkmoon. Make Hawkmoon great again. We need to do this. Make Hawkmoon great again. When we take into account, guys, that the consoles that we're actually working with now are, are between 1.4 and 1.6 teraflops. That's the PS4 and the Xbox One. That's a huge disparity in power between the uh, the Neo and the Scorpio. If you if that's actually found to be true, a two teraflop difference. That's yeah. like the current generation of graphical fidelity missing from one. And and there's a hell of a lot they can do with that. So this, especially for us, because we own them all. And I know everybody out there doesn't own them all. Maybe one day you will. But for us, it's so exciting because of all these options for, for you know, for the gamer. We have tons of options right now. And the landscape is ever-changing. You know, and there are smarter people than us making these choices. And to, to Sony's point, I think it's actually smart that they haven't said anything. One thing that one of the wisest men I've ever known told me, my dad, he said, if you don't know what to say, don't say nothing at all. And um, that's right, probably right. what Sony's doing right now. They're not opening their mouth until they nail down exactly what they want to do. Mm. One thing that Sony's really good at is, is the home console space. PlayStation is pretty much the only thing that's saving the company. And I'm sure that they're going to fight tooth and nail to keep that, you know, keep that winning demographic. Uh, with the PlayStation 4, Neo 5 in the future. Yeah, right. This yeah. is a big deal for that whole company. It's huge yeah. deal. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. the one thing this is the one thing that they have. They've they've been a jack of all trades and an ace of none up until this point on every endeavor that they've gone through. For TVs, a long time. Lap laptops, phones, uh even the Walkman died. Uh and so the PlayStation is the only thing that they have that's really been saving the company and, and especially now they have positive revenue because of the ps4 you know um Kazurai just got uh, his his salary was doubled this year from two million to four million dollars so it'll let you know <laughs> it's that's just the truth insane, you know he, that's a lot of fucking money they're, they're actually doing really well with the playstation 4 and i'm sure they're going to fight as hard as they can to to keep the playstation in every home and doing as well as it's doing now what do we got next, Robbie? Because I've been scrolling around looking at all this porn. I don't know where I am anymore. What is she doing? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Continue, is that Robbie. Pikachu? <laughs> where the fuck is Colonel? 
Pika, Pika. <laughs> what is Pikachu doing strutting his stuff? Her stuff, whoever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> never, never mind. Okay, uh, next news story Val- is to do with Valve is, Valve is now banning Counter-Strike Go players from using any third-party skins betting sites. Uh, it is also prohibited to stream or create any sort of content centered around call- Counter-Strike Go betting, including videos and live streams. Just I don't now play they're doing this, too. So Only. you can't go to any third party sites and get any sk- any skins now? You're gonna get banned? No, no, no. Completely you banned. can't doing it. You can't yeah, you can't do that. You can't broadcast you doing it. Like they're just you know, they're taking this whole T Barton uh T Martin X Cal scandal everybody. and they're just like saying, We're cutting it off here. So, oh yeah. man, it's I mean, only it's just now frankly, too because it affects their bottom line. That's why they're doing this. Yeah, because absolutely. it's making them look bad. They have right. a part of this because it's that's why their corporations games, do things. They, they need to release the emails. They need to release the transcripts. Come on now, Valve. <laughs> then Nintendo's creating a brand new miniature version of the NES. The system will be available November 11th for $60 and will be bundled with 30 classic games. Additionally, there will be no online connectivity with the mini Nintendo. No more games will be made available other than the 30 bundled in and the controllers will cost $10 each. This Woo-hoo, is amazing news. In the world. Have you guys seen this thing? It's beautiful, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, this is so cool. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, this is crazy. I never expected that. Really cool, though. I, it's all no, about no, the game I, list, right? It's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's basically the too. same thing as like one of those like uh, Atari things that you Atari's, plug in. Atari's, yeah. If it's got the games that you want, then it's worth it. If it doesn't, then it's not worth it. So it's all about, look at that game list, 30 games on there. I know Mega Man 2 is on there. That's one of my favorite games from that generation. Metroid. Yeah, Metroid's on there. So, you know, there's some good stuff in there. And for sixty bucks, I mean, a lot of these cartridges go for a lot of money now. And that's to $2 buy them all for each game. Yeah, to buy well, them all on uh, the uh, virtual yeah. console, it's probably going to cost you it's more. Than that. It's one hundred and forty dollars. There you go. I've already done the story, so yeah. I mean, you're saving tons of money. By and it just plugs this, in this with console. an HDMI. It comes with a controller, a real like looking NES controller, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I'm going to do one for like holidays. Like buy one if if you I can. Guess. For some reason, I think it's going to be sold out everywhere. Yeah, I got to take it. I literally have nothing bad to say about this. Like everything about this is good. You're saving a lot of money. There's a lot of. Amazing I was classes. bummed that it didn't have any internal storage. You couldn't add more to it. Like you couldn't buy more. But that's the one. They'll probably just release another one in a couple of years, right? Yeah. Or a, uh, yeah, or a yeah. SNES version of it. That'd be cool. Oh God. A or mini 64? SNES. Oh my. Look, this is something that someone hit me in the comment section about. They said, "Beastly, we need a mini Super Nintendo and we need a mini 64." Man, Nintendo would just be raking in the bucks. I think this is an awesome deal. I know tons of people who are buying more than one of these. This I'll holiday. buy one of these. This is yeah. awesome. I- I'm definitely going to get it. It's sanctioned by Nintendo. It's an it's an official Nintendo console, so it's not like these little third party. You know, we got ROMs on. This is actually Nintendo's. Their own things. They're literally me. making a new NES. I never imagined I'd say that. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet that within a year, if this thing is as, as successful as I think it's going to be, because I, the first time I heard about it was on Facebook. Somebody's like, BC, check it out. I was like, that's not real. And I was like, oh, man, is it? It is. If this, if this thing is as successful as I think it's going to be, they're going to do a Super Nintendo, and they're going to do a 64. They're, I mean, those games are just tiny as far as the uh, megabytes – or me- yeah, megabytes, megabits, kilobits, as f- uh, compared to games like uh, the GameCube or uh, man, that chicken smells good, or uh, the the oh, Wii. Okay. So my wife is cooking. Damn it! That was chicken. really weird though. Just to say, oh, that chair. chicken smells good. <laughs> you know how awkward that was. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that chicken smells good right about now. <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> black chicken matters. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. No, uh. But, but all joking aside, though, if this thing is successful, and I believe it's going to be successful. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Black chicken matters, too. Damn it, it does. <laughs> That's right, Brian. Three years far ahead, I'm going to move the silence for this shit. Let's move I'm on. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet we're going to see the Super Nintendo and the 64. That's the end of that, okay? All right, so one more thing about this is that I wonder what this means. You know, like emulation and all these ROMs are out there, and it's something Nintendo has actively been trying to persecute and to try to protect. 
now that they've actually got a current product on the market, well, I mean, I guess with Virtual Console, they had it already. So, never mind. Much more expensive, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I still want that. I still right. want a, like a really cool version of a virtual console. Like I, you know, rip the dream. Yeah, well, get you a PSP and call it a day. Uh, the Connect adapter for the Xbox One S will cost you forty dollars. If you already own an Xbox One and are planning on upgrading to the S, you can request an adapter for free. I'm going to request one for free before I even get the S. Who cares about the Connect in general? Just don't buy the adapter. Right. Well, man, have you guys been into a pawn shop lately? Those fucking connects are like twenty five bucks. Are they? The one right there's a pawn shop down the street, down here in Riverdale, Georgia, that has a PlayStation uh, TV, a PlayStation camera, and a Connect for twenty five bucks each. Then I would buy a Connect only for that price. Why? You're never gonna fucking use it. There's no use for it. Voice commands. I mean, it would be worth. No, it it's annoying. <laughs> it's super annoying. Is it? Yeah, because okay. you'll be talking, and all of a sudden your Xbox is off doing some shit that you didn't want it to do. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Robbie, voice, <laughs> voice commands, they really are irritating, especially with the Xbox, because you have to talk like a robot the whole time. Xbox on. And sometimes, even my computer, Cortana wakes up and starts asking questions, and I'm in the middle of doing something. I'm like, holy shit. Sometimes voice voice commands can really become uh, more of a stress than, than anything else. And our last little bit of news... Microsoft has announced the first special edition Xbox One S console. Oh, I saw this. It looks cool, it's man. Very cool. It's like blood red. It oh, it's really? cool looking. Okay. It's cool looking. I'm yeah, click on the article and take a look. Uh, so also the controller, the one that comes with the console, will be sold separately too, as well as like a JD Phoenix uh, controller, which will also be separate. They both look cool. Like, the Elite controller? Awesome. Wow. Are you talking about the Elite, the special edition Elite? No, it's just like a regular Xbox One controller, but you know they're special edition Gears of War Four. There's two of them. There's uh, one that they got the a console. special edition Elite controller too that they showed at E3. It looked fucking awesome. Oh yeah, that oh, one. Looks wow, cool. it does look awesome. Wow. It doesn't like cool. Oh wow, yeah. Well, I'm definitely getting one. I don't know if I get the Gears of War One uh, uh, S, but um, my wife wants one now. She saw it and she's like, "Oh, it's so pretty. I need to have this." I'm like, "Well, all right." Rip so. the bank account. Yeah. No kidding. I want to get one too because it just looks so good. But I'm like, I can't afford. I like that. the white I one. I'll be honest with you. Shirts. I'm a big fan of that white one. I think it looks really nice. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, it looks really. It looks great. Um, the thing is, right, right now, you know, I gotta really delegate and get my money, because my money is funny right now, guys, and I want that PlayStation VR. Money? It's funny, man. It's like really funny. Uh, <laughs> I need to. What? I need to get my fucking money together. That was together. awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what that was from. That was but great. Right. <laughs> I need PlayStation VR. Right? VR, yeah, that's coming. Them. I need two of them. So it's like I got to, you know, make sure that all that's in place. And that's the eight Xbox hondos plus tax right there. Yes, it is. It's going to be serious. But I, I believe it's going to be worth it. You know, to sit in your living room with no clothes on, just a joystick in your hand and a VR headset on, that's just... I've been dreaming of this day since I was four. What's the next story? <laughs> uh, that is our last article. Oh, well, that was news. it? We had Robbie to end at that point with Brett be sleeping naked with a joystick in his hand. Hey, man, we've all done it before. Right? <laughs> yeah, shake that pencil dryer. <laughs> <laughs> so much random shit <laughs> and that's what the beastly oh. thoughts is all about okay look, it wouldn't be the show if we didn't have beastly thoughts every now and then right come on that's true man shit we can't we can't go by the book every single time sometimes you gotta turn the book upside down and read it back oh, yeah once. yeah and that's exactly what i that's how i read i've always read that way yeah Anybody yeah. can read the news. We want to put some thought and analysis into it. Absolutely. And own some penis off. talk. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so some, you know. Just the tips with Beasley Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Not the whole shaft. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, All right. So what are you guys up to this week? What you got planned? Uh, 
what do I have planned? Hopefully I'll get, uh, I'm going to take a little hiatus from the beastly, beastly, uh, gamer channel mm -hmm. for a little bit. I got videos going up all the way until Friday, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. but I'm going to focus on my other channel. If you guys don't know about it, it's called pyramid head. It does have a beautiful image of black and red pyramid head. It's about conspiracies, ghosts, goblins, demons, and just the tips, but it's a very, very, uh, unique channel and, and things that I like to focus on. Yes, right, Brian. Uh, I'm kind of a conspiracy buff. I love cryptozoology and, and, and the thoughts of possible possibilities of things like ghosts and nefarious spiritual entities. So that's what my other channel is about. And I'm going to focus on that a little bit for about a week or two. Oh, Just man. A tip. Mr. Good Bites in chat says, I swear if Brian Rabbit starts talking about boner spiders now, like I'm planet testing. <laughs> 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 boner spiders. Those things are fucking terrifying. <laughs> That'll be a good tip, though. You know, bonus uh, spiders. Yeah. It's a tip. Enhance your tip. Yeah. Robbie, what are you up what to What are you going to be doing this week, Robbie? Uh, I'm going to be playing a lot of Pokemon Go now that I finally get the chance to try it. I am very excited. It be looks careful like a lot of cliffs. Fun. Yeah, man, those fucking cliffs. <laughs> and don't go to parking lots at 3 a.m. Yeah. I got to tell you guys, I live up in the mountains where my neighborhood is, so it, I might just fall off a cliff. <laughs> There are a lot of cliffs. <laughs> there are a lot of I'm cliffs. Knock on some wood, Robbie. I love you, man. I got knock on some wood right now, man. <laughs> I can hear your mom now. Robbie, it's dinner time. Did you just Robbie? knock on my wood, Mr. Game. You knocking on my wood there? Lassie, Robbie fell down a walk chasing Squirtle. Squirtle, <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> I broke a leg trying to get that fucking Squirtle. <laughs> Rob, the skull fell down a whale. The oh, show is, is that it's going so far off the rails today. I love it, though. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for this show. Thank you very much for watching chat. You guys are hilarious tonight. I've been reading chat all night, and half the reason I'm so distracted from the show is because I've been reading chat. <laughs> There's some good comments. Yeah, there's some really good stuff in there tonight. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Same Beastly time, same, same beastly, beastly channel. Same beastly tips. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks Bye, guys. So much. Have a great night. See you next week. Same time. I need to drink some water. Take that tip and uh, keep it. <laughs> Take my tip. Oh, Ouch, Robbie. Shit. Ouch.